Student performs appropriate patient assessment per scenario. Assesses patient for and records signs and symptoms of shock. If spinal injury is suspected, maintains spinal stabilization. Determine patient's blood pressure. Deflate, leave deflated blood pressure cuff in place on patient. Student oscillates breast sounds for wetness. <laughs> Do a, underneath the armpits, kind of. There you go. Now do the other side. Perfect. States the absolute contraindications and relative contraindications. Okay, Removes clothing from patient's abdomen and lower extremities. Assesses patient's abdomen, pelvis, and lower extremities for wounds or fractures. And states findings. Cover any open wounds with sterile dressings and bandage in place. Restore alignment of extremity fractures if possible. Contact hospital or physician if required by local protocol for permission to inflate garment. If hospital or physician contact is not required, proceed according to local protocol. Students open and arrange anti-shock garment. Apply lift anti-shock garment by lifting patient's lower extremities and buttocks, sliding the garment beneath the patient. If spine injury is suspected, use orthopedic stretcher, log roll, or straddle slide to position the patient. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You gotta, gotta measure. Yep. The Verify the superior edge of the garment is just inferior to the patient's costal margin. Secures garment, legs, then abdomen. Attaches inflation pump lines to the garment and opens all inline valves. Remember, do not inflate on a student. Only inflate anti-shock garments on a mannequin. Inflate the garment until patient's clinical status improves satisfactorily or Velcro fasteners begin to crackle, indicating separation, or air escapes the relief valve at 104 milligrams pressure. Close all inline valves. Leave inflation pump attached to the garment during movement and transport. Verbalize the need to reassess immediately at frequent intervals en route to the hospital. These include blood pressure, pulse rate, respiratory status, and level of consciousness. 